Hi guys, today we're going to be doing um, who is your partner. I did this about a month ago, but I want to do it again because I absolutely loved doing it. So if this, if you watched that last video and if it correlates with this one, that means that message is still valid. Obviously time can change, so it may change, but there we go. Let's see who your future partner is. So please choose group number one, two, three, four, five or six, and let's get started. Hi, group number one. Let's see who your future partner is. So we have the gorgeous Amethyst. Let's see what you guys got for who is your partner. So we have... Reclaim your power, know your worth, new location, chemistry and artist. Okay, so first of all, this person has a lot of deep chemistry with you. They could be quite a sexual person, I feel like. They're quite, they know what the sort of things they like to do with intimacy. Um, this person is also very artistic, so they could be very creative. This could also be, you could also be very creative because like attracts like, so you could both be very creative people. So I thought you can meet this person when you go to a new location. They could also be moving to a new location and then that's when you meet them. They could also be moving to where you are and they could also be moving into a new job and then that means to say if they move into your department in your job, they could also be one of your clients if you are, a, if you are your own business owner, if you work for yourself. There's a lot of chemistry here. This is somebody who knows their worth, who's worked a lot on themselves, who has a very intense power to themselves. They are very confident. I'm seeing like a Leo sort of person. So I made a new deck for all the zodiac signs. So let's see what zodiac sign this person could be. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> we literally got Leo. Oh my God, that is exactly the person that I saw. That is insane. We also got Taurus and Aquarius. So these could be the signs that they could be. So with Leo, I wrote playful, charismatic, warm. For Taurus, steady, driven, patient, and trustworthy. And Aquarius, independent, easygoing, and analytical. So these could be the things that they embody. They could. They don't have to be these exact signs. They could just embody these certain types of kind of attributes. So I feel like this person is quite independent. I feel like they're more Leo than they are any of the other signs. I feel like they're more Leo and Taurus personality wise, but emotionally wise, I feel like it could be like more like an Aquarius, like, 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 it could be more like an Aquarius. So somebody who is a little bit kind of not too emotional. I don't let their emotions drive them because I feel like Aquariuses are more analytical. That's just from personal experience, what I've kind of dealt with. And I feel like Aquarius is how are quite analytical with the way they they love um they are quite specific but also they are very analytical so that's kind of like their nature so this person i feel like could also be someone who loves studying someone who loves puzzles as well like so they like solving puzzles they may like helping people with their issues with their kind of their sort of life puzzles um i feel like this person is definitely more like a lion so they are more like this leopard not leopard panther they're more like <laughs> literally wasn't even looking at the card they're more like this panther where they can be very kind of forthcoming they know kind of what they want and they kind of like i can see this like walking this panther walking kind of pouncing so they kind of have this like pouncing thing where they kind of they know once they found the person they want to be with they really want to be with them and they just kind of want to go for it. I feel like the number four and number five is very, very significant. Also number eight and nine. But I feel more number four and five. You can also be seeing those signs when you meet this person. This person, I feel like if they're a man, I feel like they're going to have dark hair. I'm not really seeing blonde hair for a man. I'm seeing more dark hair. Possibly they could have blonde hair, but I'm seeing more brown hair and black hair. If they are a woman... I feel like this person could have brown hair, blonde hair, kind of light brown hair, so that sort of thing. Uh, I feel like this person could have green eyes or blue eyes, um, male or female. And there was something else I need to say. Oh yeah, with a skunk spirit, I feel like they can be quite, they can be too intense sometimes, they can be too forthcoming, which can make people feel like they don't want to be around them because they're like, oh I don't really want to be pounced on. But they mean well, they kind of like, they know, with Leos they do know what they want, but sometimes they can be a bit too much. But this depends on the sort of person you are, because obviously if you like this person, if this is your future partner, then you're obviously not going to be, you may kind of be put off by it a little bit, but 
after a while you could think actually this person is quite charming and they know their worth so it's kind of like actually now i know my worth and they know their worth we're reflecting on each other and it's just going to end up really really good as i say it's definitely going to be a very intimate sexual attraction with each other and you're definitely going to find this person extremely attractive so i really hope this resonated with you guys if you would like to please click the subscribe button down below if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and on the screen here if i remember to put it on the screen and my readings are i'm having a mid mail mid may sale at the moment if you'd like to get a reading 25 minute reading for only 19 pounds 95 then you can uh, let me know email me or message me on instagram and i'll speak to you very soon bye hi group number two thank you so much for clicking on this video i appreciate you so much so let's see what you guys have for group number two who your partner is so we have comedian spirit i love this card it's so cute we have comedian spirit beast spirit parenting and children we also have deception environmentalist you're on the right path and family so i feel like this person is struggling with their identity right now they're kind of figuring out who they actually are i feel like they could actually be if you when you meet them i feel like it could be wearing like a mask and you kind of want to uncover it i feel like if you're watching this you could be a scorpio someone who loves to dig deep into this person i don't see this deception as a bad thing i see it almost as if like they need to let their guard down when they meet you i feel like they could actually let their guard down when they meet you um basically it says you're on the right path keep doing what you're doing because it's working so if you're worried about if you're going to actually meet this person you are on the right path and you will meet this person there's going to be somebody who loves being outside and love being with family so they love the outdoors they love being outdoors and kind of maybe camping they could be a virgo someone who loves the earth this could also be capricorn or taurus someone who loves to travel as well someone who loves to go out and travel and this person could also love to go on nature walks they might want to go to the beach things like that yeah this person loves their friends and family they're very kind of they love gathering people together and kind of getting the family together also i love how we got family and parenting and children somebody who wants to parent children if they haven't got children already if they do and that could be that um they also want to parent children with you they will want to have a family with you so we also have act as if and sweet results away i feel like this person can easily blend into a crowd because they have a sense of who they are so they can kind of adapt to different situations i don't feel like they change themselves but i feel like they can easily um pick up they can always pick up on people's energies and kind of think okay i need to act in this way so um i'm not like some out like i'm not kind of i don't know how to explain this how do i explain this so they're not sticking out so much so they're not identified as an outcast sort of thing so they're the sort of person who's very grounded and they almost they almost ground everybody else when they're around them so essentially they can always know who to hang out with because they're very sensitive on other people's energies as well that's the sort of thing that i pick up um also they could like very colorful things they could love having a colorful house colorful decor they love maybe colorful clothing they could love if they're a woman obviously man or woman makeup they love to have ex extensive excessive like amounts of like really bright color when i say excessive i don't mean like in a bad way like over the top i mean like very kind of bold makeup looks they could also have brightly colored hair i feel like there could be an artist like group number one there's an art there's an artist factor here i feel like it could be quite where well, they're quite earthy i feel like they may have tattoos as well and also earthy doesn't relate to tattoos but i kind of went on a tangent there so they could have tattoos they could just love the earth they could be quite a um a spiritual person so they could almost be like hippie like where they love nature they love to be in nature they love to almost walk barefoot that sort of thing um also this person is very very sweet they will they will treat you like a queen or a king obviously is gender specific so let's see what star sign they are i've made my own zodiac deck so let's see what star sign this person could be so we have leo so this person could also be a pisces or a gemini or we've got capricorn okay so as i say there's the um earth sign here of capricorn 
So we also have the air sign of Gemini, Fire, Leo, and Water, Pisces. So I feel like they could embody, as I say, they could be blend, could be really good at blending in. So in a sense of the way they look and that their eye color, hair color, I'm seeing brown hair, blue eyes, blonde, blonde hair, a strong back. That's what I'm seeing. Someone quite muscly, but they don't have to be like quite bulky they could just be quite thin but muscly someone who is saying and getting loves to be naked so someone as i say they could be quite a hippie or they just generally love to be kind of natural in a natural environment they just love to be naked like walk around naked i'm getting so yeah this person i feel like is more of a water sign i feel like it, emotionally i feel like they're very watery they could but they're very earthy at the same time so they could be water and earth sign so I definitely feel like with this person, you may have a couple of encounters with them because with deception, I feel like there's two sides to them. I feel like maybe they might be a bit kind of confused whether they want to actually settle down with you, but actually after a while, they will be, they'll be very happy to go forward with it. I think just at the start, they might be a bit kind of hesitant, but you're on the right path. They're on the right path towards you. And I love the fact that we got, you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and animals so i love the fact that we've got that and we've also got family and family and parenting and children so it's a lot about kind of coming together and being with younger children and caring and nurturing and being with nature that sort of thing so this this person i get is very very i'm getting the word gorgeous they have a very gorgeous lovely kind of soft energy if their energy i could explain it it feels like a cuddly puppy or a bear, someone with, like an animal with very soft fur, almost like a very cuddly person. They're just very, very sweet, I'm getting, very, very sweet. So I really hope this resonated with you. Let me know down below if it did, or come, you can always come back to this if it didn't resonate now. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you would like to. The red button is down there. My name is The Crystal Girl. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below. I'm doing a May sale. My 25 minute readings are only £19.95. So get on that deal quick before May ends, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number three, let's see who your future partner is. So we have the Wombat Spirit, Be at Home, Grasshopper Spirit, Take a Leap of Faith. We also have Quiet Time, Passion, Speaker and Sensitivity. Oh, this is, this is a really good combination. This is somebody who's very spiritual or they're very sensitive to energies. They might not be somebody who's consciously aware that they're a spiritual person. But they just embody a quite a um, sensitive personality, which is really lovely. I'm getting like a really kind of delicate energy, someone almost fairy-like. So if they're a man or woman, it's exactly the same thing. They want me to pull a card from this deck, so let's see. What does group three need to know about this person? Okay, we got uphill and one step at a time. So we basically, and we also got move. So this person I feel like is going through an uphill struggle at the moment, which could cause them to be quite sensitive. I feel like they, actually they're telling me also, this person has gone through quite a lot and that basically has opened them up sense and it's opened them up to a more sensitive place. I've just got a nod, I got a nod in my head. So they're like, yes, this is right, this is right. So they basically went through a really tough time and it's basically made them more sensitive but this person's very very passionate also they know how to love and because they i feel like a lot of their life they feel like they haven't been understood or loved they are really really good at giving love and i feel like this person will really accept your love for who you are as well there's somebody who's not very judgmental i'm seeing somebody who's either a capricorn I'm getting Virgo vibes, someone who sees you for who you are but doesn't judge you. I'm definitely getting 100% Virgo vibes. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay. Pisces, Libra or Leo, okay. So let's see, we'll see what the cards say as well because I have some Zodiac cards we'll have a look in a minute. Someone who loves to talk about the things that they've gone through as well. This is somebody who loves to speak and to be spoken to very politely so there's someone who values their values basically so they love please and thank you they love kind of respect they love being the thought of being respected is very important to them they love the thought of being on a pedestal not in a, like a a vain way but they love to people to look up to them and kind of they love to have that caring nature or they love to give and receive 
that communication on one to one basis. They just love to teach and to kind of communicate um, their skills. They love to, they could also be a teacher as well. Someone, I'm getting someone in the police. I don't know why. Maybe someone who likes to speak up about, oh, okay, they like to speak up about their values. So, someone who likes to kind of set the rules, um, someone who loves to make things right with people. So, there could be a police person as well, someone in like justice sort of thing. So, it could also be a Scorpio. Your life purpose involves your skills of or oration, and we also got you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So I feel like this can make this can make them more introverted because they like to have their quiet time, they get overwhelmed quite easily. And also we have be at home and leave a fate. I say they love to be at home with their parents, not with their parents, yeah, with their parents. They might they might um live with their parents, um, but they actually they say they live with their parents, but they want to move away, but they also like to be around their family. Not necessarily they live with their parents in like, oh, they're like useless because they don't have the money to move out. It's just while they're, they're saying while they're single they love to be around family and they have a really good relationship with their parents so this is a very kind of balanced family energy which is really really nice also if they don't actually physically live with their family they could either live close to them or they love to visit them because they're very very close with them um somebody who loves also somebody who wants to create a home for themselves they're very kind of they love like comforts so they love being in comfort in their own home they're very kind of i think they're quite like not specific about what they like but they they have kind of a specific t they have like a taste on how they like everything to be set out so they can be quite a neat person as well neat and tidy and also they're going to take a leap of faith with you you could be somebody who's not really their type but i feel like they might be taking a leap of faith with you but also i feel like some of them some of these people who I'm looking into, I'm seeing a lot of them haven't been in a relationship for a long time. So being with you would be taking a leap of faith because they haven't had that connection with somebody for a long, long time. Hence why we've got one step at a time because it's like, okay, one step at a time, it's okay. Because we're sensitive, as, because, we're the, because they're sensitive as well. I said we're, because <laughs> they're sensitive. It's like they've got to take one step at a time and that's okay. I feel like you might need to be quite patient with this person, but I don't think that's actually going to be an issue. But yeah, I have move and growth underneath, which is really, really nice. So it basically means they're going to be moving into partnership with you. And it's just going to be really nice. It's going to be really smooth, I can see. So what zodiac sign is this person here I'm looking into? Definitely a Virgo. Okay, we got Pisces. we got Gemini. I don't know why I sang there. We've got Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn. Okay, and we also have tell me to pick two cards. Leo and Cancerian. Okay, so I didn't pick up on Virgo. But that doesn't mean that, oh, here's Virgo. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that this isn't a Virgo. They could also embody a Virgo kind of vibe. They're very um, balanced. I thought they love balance and they love justice and they love um, fairness. So as somebody who is like a Virgo. Um, yeah, so we've got Pisces, Gemini, Cancerian, Capricorn and Leo. They're telling me to put all of these because they could also be someone who embodies all of these things. But not necessarily it's their dominant star sign or moon sign. They could just kind of embody a lot of these characteristics. So thank you for watching. If this resonates with you, then please let me know down below. Also, I'm looking into selling some of my cards. So if you would like to purchase these, then please let me know in the comments and I can make some for up for you guys so I can sell some. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, my name is Crystal Girl. The subscribe button is down below. Also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, my readings are 25 minutes for only £19.95. I also do five minute readings and hour readings, but I'm doing a sale that only my 25 minute reading is only £19.95. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Hi, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see who your future partner is. We have brown bear spirit, take the time out. Life is speeding up. Turtle Spirit, slow and steady wins a race. And we also have Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation. Be honest with yourself. Stay optimistic about your love life. And we also have school and children. Wow, there's so many energies in here. Damn. Okay, so this person I felt like could have blonde hair, brown hair. They could love children. They love to teach. I feel like they could also be studying something new. I feel like this person loves to learn new things as well. I'm getting Cancerian vibes, Pisces. I'm getting all the Earth signs. Also, maybe a fire sign, but only saying one specific fire sign. I'm getting Aries. Someone who loves to go really fast as well, so they could also be a Sagittarius. I'm getting mainly Earth and Air quite prominently in this. Um, so... 
this is somebody who needs to take time out quite a lot because they are very fast if somebody who doesn't like to slow down there's somebody who is also very caring for other people and sometimes they forget to look at themselves which is why this person might take a little time to get to you because they need to learn how to love themselves more by laying a solid foundation that also that means they're also focusing more on themselves and they will lay a solid foundation with you also i feel like this person could they're telling me they could run away why would they run away I say because they're scared of their feelings so that's kind of a strange thing to say but uh that's what i'm getting it could also be like family patterns that they're dealing with as well to do with um commitment and stuff like that so yeah they're gonna need to take time out maybe to think about this relationship but they will come towards you i'm seeing once they realize that they want you they're gonna come fast because they're like fuck yeah i want this person that's what i got fuck yeah oh that came from really strong so it's somebody who's very feisty as well kind of like very Taurus-y, kind of like very like hard-headed and kind of grr. <laughs> Don't know what I'm getting that. Someone who is just kind of very snappy, snap, 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 and getting. So someone who thinks fast, someone who loves to do stuff fast. I say it could be a Sagittarius or an Aries. Someone who's very outspoken as well. It's not in a bad way, but they love to like speak their truth. They're very honest. They're a very, very honest person. I literally forgot this card was here. <laughs> that's that's good. Um, also, they have a trouble staying optimistic about their love life because they've had a lot of trials and tribulations. They've had a lot of bad things happen to them um, in regards to love mainly and connecting with that special person. But I know now, or I say I know, I'm channeling them. They say, say they know now that slow and steady wins the race and basically that it will come when it's meant to come. And it's basically they're just learning how to stay calm in the mess that they're in at the moment. <laughs> And also they could be somebody who is a teacher. They could actually be working at a, a school because we've got children and school together, which is really nice. They could also just generally love teaching children. It might not be at a school. It might just be at, say, like a college or it could be like a, an after-school club, that sort of thing. Um, I feel like they could also teach children about spirituality as well, maybe meditation. They might be a yoga teacher, I'm guessing. They could also love fitness as well. I'm getting like I've never noticed that this this bear has a claw. Does this mean does this mean something? They're gonna leave an imprint on in your life, they're telling me. It's someone who's very unusual. It's gonna be someone who's very unusual in a good way. Someone you've never met before, I'm getting someone so you may already know them, but they're gonna be some if you don't know them. Just generally, if you know them or you don't, there's somebody who you've never encountered before personality wise, someone who's so different to what you're used to but like you're like oh my god i need this person so let's see what star sign they have i have my uh card deck here that i made which is about all the star signs so let's see what star sign this person is yes yeah, so i'm getting blonde hair brown hair brown eyes blue eyes possibly somebody wears a suit as well okay that's interesting getting major pisces vibes here taurus Okay, so we got Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, Scorpio. I'm getting very confused trying to find this zodiac sign. I don't know why. I'm shuffling. I'm getting really confused. We've got Leo and Top. Of, okay, Top. Okay, so we've got Sagittarius. So I can't find Pisces anywhere, which is so interesting because I'm getting really major Pisces vibes. So that's really interesting. That's why I shuffled so many times. So yeah, we've got Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo or Sagittarius. So thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, let me know down below. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, my name is Acrista Girls. The subscribe button is right down there. Click that red button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. Also, if you'd like to purchase this deck, I'm thinking of selling it. So if you'd like to, if you're interested in that, please comment down below and I will see what I can do. I'll probably sell it on Etsy or Depop. And also, if you'd like to get a... 25 minute reading from me from me for only £19.95 all the information is down below I've got a mid-May sale going on at the moment so thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you very soon bye hello group number five let's see what you guys got for who is your partner so we have B peace the dove spirit life is a mystery we also got the magic of nature which is so nice we've then got unrequited love let go and support oh wow this is really interesting actually that's really weird because i'm getting that this person might not even like you that's really weird or somebody who 
Oh, I'm getting somebody who you might have known in the past, but didn't like like you in that way. So that's actually really interesting because they, I'm getting somebody who you might know from the past who didn't like you or rejected you or didn't like you in that sort of way, like a love way. And now they're going to come back and they're going to come back in like a, a with a romantic gesture. I'm just going to see what the tarot says. This is really interesting. What does this all mean? Oh, yeah, they're going to come back. I'm seeing somebody who's going to come back with an offer. Wow, I've never got a group like this before. This is so cool. I'm going to leave that right there. So life is a mystery. Bloody hell, it is a bloody mystery. <laughs> oh my God, that is so strange. And we also got the Ace of Cups on the top. And we also got Six of Pentacles underneath. So yeah, they're going to have like... They're going to have the strength to come forward at some point. So if this is someone you know, and you know, then this is going to be someone I think going to come back. Anyway, if not, um, it's going to be somebody who has let go of a lot of toxic relationships. And they are engaging in a lot of support from people. They're trying to muster up a lot of support for themselves to try and get through this. So they're trying to be peace in this situation. And in nature, they feel like that this is a time where they can really get earthy and grounded. And I feel like this person could also have black hair. They could have ginger hair, brown hair, blue eyes, almost like white hair. So maybe gray hair. Um, somebody who could also have deliberate grey hair, so someone could actually dye their hair grey. Um, somebody who loves luxuries as well, they love the luxury part of life. Somebody who also loves animals and they love to care for other people as well. I feel like it could be a doctor or a carer. So let's see what stars on this person is. They could have green eyes, um, dark brown eyes as well. Almost maybe hazel eyes too. Did I say brown eyes? Did I say the eye colour? I can't remember guys. So we've got Aquarius. Independent, easygoing and analytical. Yeah, so I feel like they've had a lot of trouble dealing with their emotions. They don't really know how to deal with them because they are very analytical and quite... Um, quite analytical with the way they think. So they've, they have trouble dealing with their emotions. And I've, my foot suddenly got really numb. So I don't know what that means. But if that, if that helps then, you know... Gemini okay so they, they're telling me they could be getting cold feet but obviously they're going to be with you because this is your future partner so we've got Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius can we have one more? Taurus and Leo well Leo keeps coming up Leo is really prominent in these readings so those are all the signs I've got so if this resonates with you let me know down below if this doesn't then let it fly it doesn't always resonate for everyone if you'd like to subscribe to my channel my name is a crystal girl and the subscribe button is down there below also if you would like to put a private reading with me all the information is down below i'm doing a mid-may sale where my 25 minute readings are only 19 pounds 95 and i also do other readings as well but that one is the one that's on sale so thank you for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number six let's see who your future partner is so we have the turkey spirit give her gratitude and grace be fearless and bold we also have peace of mind getting to know each other and we also have protected can you fit these on yeah there we go someone who's very earthy someone oh wow i'm getting really i always feel like i need to back off this person here is really strong they've got really strong like masculine energy they're very kind of like heavy not as in physically heavy their, their energy is very heavy so they they've got they have a lot of power behind them i'm always seeing like a big engine in a car so somewhat like a, almost like a race car but like oh, okay more like a jeep like a four by four <laughs> that's what they're showing me like a big jeep and it's kind of going vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> it's really strange but i'm seeing like a muscle muscle car thank you like a muscle car in a person that's really strange okay so they could also look like this person someone who has um very little hair and they could also have um, quite pale skin. Um, brown eyes, I'm seeing very bright eyes also. So they could have like a difference of, they could also have two different eye colours as well. So maybe one eye could be blue, one eye could be brown. Uh, blonde hair, I could also love flowers as well. I'm definitely getting more feminine energy. If they're in more in the feminine type, they might prefer the, uh, like they like flowers. We've got two flowers here in the, in the girl's hair and we also have flowers around here 
um somebody who is quite tall i'm seeing quite muscly actually i'm seeing like a variation i'm seeing some who some of you could be dating somebody who's quite small but like really strong so they've like they kind of embody a tall person I'm not saying that small people aren't strong but i'm meaning like they embody like they think like a tall person but they're very they're quite a small person i don't know how to explain that I hope that doesn't sound mean, but it's just kind of what I'm seeing there. They're very confident. They're very kind of like, yeah, they could be quite small, but very confident. Um, also tall and confident. Do you know what? It doesn't really matter about the height, but that's what I'm seeing. Somebody, uh, if they're a woman, I'm seeing mid range. Um, I'm not really seeing tall women. Maybe a, I'm seeing one person, tall blonde woman. I'm not sure who that is, but yeah. So we also have somebody who is having a career change. They could be coming towards you in their career. They could be moving like towards your department sort of thing. Someone who's an earth sign, I'm seeing someone. I'm just gonna tune into who is it. I'm seeing yellow, so I'm seeing maybe Sagittarius or a Leo. Someone who's very also very fairy-like. So they in their mind, they are very kind of natural, like like they are very naturey, they're into nature but they could look quite masculine on the outside. Like I can see like a masculine man picking flowers, which is an odd combination. They like, they kind of surprise you. It's like this person doesn't look like the sort of person that they are. I'm seeing like a rocker chick as well. So if you, if any of you are interested in, in, in the female side, then yeah, then I'm seeing like a, a rocker chick, like a rocker sort of woman, someone who's almost uh, like, punk rock sort of thing maybe he has black hair um maybe tattoos uh it could be women and men um somebody who also is a little bit blocked as in like they not not blocked as in like they can't open themselves up but they have got like an armor that they protect themselves with that can sometimes get in the way of actually being open to new things but this doesn't really seem like an issue so we've got number four and number six and number one we also have the number seven um and also four and seven make one so yeah let's see what star sign they are i'm definitely getting more sagittarius or like they're doing for a lot of stuff okay sagittarius or earth vibes capricorn scorpio sagittarius leo and libra leo keeps coming up so i don't know what you guys are doing but a lot of you are connecting with a libra <laughs> Not a Libra, a Leo. So we've got Capricorn, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Leo. So if this resonates with you, let me know. Um, I'm also looking into uh, selling these cards. So if you guys are interested, then comment down below if you would like me to sell these. I'm thinking of selling them, so please comment down below. Also, if you like a private reading with me, my private readings are on sale. So my mid-May sale is on at the moment. My 25-minute readings are only £19.95. So let me know down below if you would like a private reading. Email me or you can message me on Instagram. Also, if you thought this reading resonated, then comment down below. If you didn't, then let it fly. Subscribe to my channel. The button is down below and I'll see you very soon. Also, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Bye, guys.